Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, members of the, of the uh, media, uh, members of the of the media. My name is Alhaji Sajoba. I'm the director of conflict management at the African Union. I have the honour to be here this evening with former president of the Republic of Kenya, uh, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, and a member of the AU high-level panel uh, for the Horn of Africa. Um, as you are all aware, we've been here for the past uh, two days, and the president uh, has been under the guidance of uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta. The parties have just completed a document which they have initialed, and under the, I will hand the floor over to the president uh, for some opening remarks, and then there is a press release that will share with you, which I will read out under the guidance of the president. Mr. President, sir. Thank you very much, Director, and uh, let me begin first and foremost by saying we are very happy and grateful to both parties who have been at the center of the negotiations over the last few months and to say that we are indeed making tremendous uh, progress and today is another uh, plus day where the parties have agreed to a series of actions and activities, all aimed at bringing us back to a state of normalcy in Tigray and bringing us back to a state of peace in Ethiopia. The parties are not here, as you can see. They have uh, been negotiating for the last two days, but we agreed that the true statement that they need to make will be the statement they make when we are in Mekele in the next few days observing and verifying the actions because documents are one thing what we want now is the deliverables and this is why we are heading to Mekele but I must say that uh, the cordial working relationship between the senior military commanders who have been meeting, between the senior representatives of the two parties has been admirable, and we are confident that we are marching in the right direction. And this will be verified in the next few days as we hope to see Ethiopians celebrate 2023 and their Christmas, which uh, we have just been reminded their Christmas is in January, it's January the 7th, that they shall be able to enjoy not only a new year, but a Christmas of peace with a great deal of hope as to the future of their country and her people. So without much further ado, I think I would want director that you read out the statement that uh, has been agreed to by all parties. And then thereafter, maybe we can answer one, maximum two questions, because like I said, what we are interested in is what shall happen in Mekele in the next few days. So, Director, back to you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Excellency. We remain ever grateful. Excellency, under your guidance, I uh, would like to read the, uh, the press release as agreed to as you've informed the media. And it goes as follows. The African Union Commission convenes the second commander's meeting between the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, FDRE, and the Tigray People's Liberation Front on the implementation of the permanent cessation of hostilities agreement, the COHA. Nairobi, 22nd November 2022. The African Union Commission convenes the second meeting of the senior commanders of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia and the Tigray People's Liberation Front to follow up on the implementation of the permanent cessation of hostilities agreements. The meeting finalized the terms of reference of the joint monitoring verification and compliance mechanism. The meeting also discussed the implementation of the disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration DDR process. 
The African Union Commission commends the parties for the positive confidence-building measures since the signing of the COHA and encourages them to continue with their efforts to restore peace, security, and stability in Ethiopia. The senior commander's meeting was facilitated by the AU High Representative for the Horn of Africa and former President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Olusegono Basanjo, together with the AU High-Level Panel Member, former President of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, and Her Excellency Dr. Pumblizle Mlambo Nguka, former Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa and member of the Panel of the Wise. The AU Commission expresses its appreciation to the government and people of the Republic of Kenya for hosting the Senior Commanders Meeting, a demonstration of African solidarity. The Commission further expresses its appreciation to the government of the United States of America, Norway, the United Nations, IGAD, the African Development Bank, and ICRC for their continued support to the AU-led process. And thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. So we'll now take a maximum of two questions, as the President said, and please introduce yourself. Um, thank you very much, Your Excellencies. Uh, my name is Robert Nagela from China Global TV, Africa. Um, I guess my question is, I'll direct it to Your Excellency. There had been some concerns about the presence of Eritrean troops uh, within uh, the Tigray region and that they were hampering the process on the ground. Uh, you've talked about the disarmament process. Does that cover the Eritrean troops and uh, was that or did that come up uh, during the talks? Thank you very much. Thank you and I think the answer to that is quite straightforward. Part of the uh, agreement that was signed by the senior commanders when they came to Nairobi last time, which is what we are now beginning the process of verifying, did state the removal of all foreign forces from the Tigray region. So without mentioning names or saying this or that, it is indeed part of the agreement that is out there that all foreign forces will be out of the Tigray region. So I, th I think uh, that is already uh, a stated matter of fact, so it's, I, I don't need to overemphasize that point. Thank you, sir. Yes, you can introduce yourself. Good evening. My name is Leila Mohammed from NTV. My question is, uh, there have been concerns by humanitarian organizations that they're still not able to access some parts of Tigray uh, to give the much needed help that they require to do so. Uh, when you go into Mekele, will this be part of what you will be expecting to see uh, happen in that region? And in today's meeting, have any of those agreements that you made in Pretoria been committed to fully? Uh, without a doubt, and I want to go back again to the spirit of cordiality that uh, existed in the meetings today and yesterday, and the fact that all these issues that uh, you are referring to, humanitarian access, resumption of services, resumption of water, banking, telephones, all these were part of the discussion, and what we were really engaged in now is how these issues are going to be monitored and verified, and that is why we shall be in Mekele with the verification and uh, team that has already been agreed, and that is going to be now their job. And they have all concurred and agreed to give the monitoring and verification team of the African Union full uh, access, full uh, 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 um, uh, 360 degree viewpoint to ensure that all the elements of the agreement are actually going to be implemented. So I must say that I am confident that some of these challenges will be addressed because there is now, not now, there has been full commitment and we have now gone through how do we monitor, how do we verify, and that's why we're going to McKinney to ensure that those uh, 
a key elements of the agreement are actually being implemented on the ground. Thank you very much, Mr. Press. Okay, so we'll take one last one. Thank you. Uh, Noé Ochebaudin for French newspaper Le Monde. When do you expect to be in Mekele? Uh, I don't want to mention specific dates, but let's say before the end of this month. That's why I said in a few days' time. Thank you very much. Excellency, thank you, sir, and members of the media. Thank you, and happy holidays. And we distribute this.